Blend 3 VL just by itself controlled an Android phone, went into WhatsApp, and sent a threatening message to one of our contacts. For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a simple and local Android phone control agent using the Quen3 VL family of models. Now this is an iteration on a project that I'd previously made, except with the Quen3 family of vision language models, we're able to remove one of the pipeline components that was previously in something like this that I'd made, which was of course Microsoft's OmniParser, which would take screenshots of the phone or look at the screenshots and then draw bounding boxes around the individual elements and label them to make them easier to identify and select for a vision model. That was using Quen 2.5 VL, but with the introduction of the three family from Quen, they're very good at actually performing agentic functions by themselves, meaning they can take a look at a UI, they can identify what to click and actually perform the actions to do so and navigate around, in this case, a phone operating system. So this is going to be not a full tutorial, but somewhat of a tutorial slash technical demonstration where we'll go ahead and actually quickly run through some of the steps required to install and set this program up and then beyond that we'll test it on one in nvidia 5090 mobile using the newly released which actually came out today 8 billion parameter quen 3 vl model and I do want to initially start off by mentioning that a lot of the agentic functionality that I put into this was kind of drawn from the Quen3 VL GitHub where they have this cookbook section here with a bunch of sample code, in this case using notebooks, to actually use these models to perform agentic tasks. So this is definitely suggested for the reading for anyone interested in further expanding these capabilities or doing something a little different. So with that, let's just go ahead and actually kind of run through some of these requirements real quick and get this set up and running. Now, first and foremost, we're going to be using Android Debug Bridge, which is basically a way for the computer to talk to the Android phone. In this case, I just have it plugged in via USB-C. So we're going to make sure that that is installed. And I do have to apologize now for anyone interested in using this on Mac or Windows it's very likely possible I just don't have the specific instructions to set it up for either of those operating systems but we're going to start by installing ADB okay so I already had ADB but that is the way to go ahead and actually do it and the next thing we're going to do is just clone this repository and then navigate into it now if you're doing this you will see that this computer is already in its own special environment because getting this card working on Linux when I set this up was kind of a pain in the butt but if you are doing this for the first time you'll want to make a virtual environment to install some of these dependencies inside of just so nothing gets messy in your system so make note and make sure that you do actually do that but once that's done, the next thing to do is first and foremost install the specific version of Transformers that's mentioned in the actual Hugging Face model card for Quen 3 VL. So they do mention a specific variant. In this case, what we're doing is essentially just running this specific command right here. So that will go ahead and install the specific version of Transformers to actually run or handle this model, which is the version that we will need. Um, I, that I mentioned it, that seems to be incorrect. So I will have to go ahead and change that. But if I don't change that for some reason, make sure you actually install transformers from the model card for the Quen3 VL family of models on Hugging Face, or just use this command right here to install the specific version. But aside from that, and I will try to fix that, I'll make sure I fix that before this repo goes up. We're going to just install some few additional dependencies to actually get like the web UI and everything like that working, which most I did already have, which is nice to see. So our next step is to plug in our Android phone to our computer. And we need to make sure the Android phone is already set up as a developer. If you don't know how to do that, um, I'm not being like a jerk, just Google it, but it's very simple. You basically go into settings like about phone and you scroll all the way down to the build number and press it seven times and it will enable developer mode. The next step once that's done is basically just to plug the phone in, which we will do real quick. And when you plug the phone in, it may pop up and ask you if you want to trust the computer it's plugged into and just some things like that to make sure. So you will have to say yes. The next thing is to type ADB devices and 
you can see right here on the phone, it did actually pop up asking if we want to allow USB debugging from this computer, which I will go ahead and click allow. And we can run this one more time. And we can see that it changed from unauthorized to right here. And it does actually identify our phone, which is plugged in. So relatively simple, I will say. It's just nice and easy to actually set up that portion of this. The next thing we're going to do is basically scroll down into our configuration section. And this will kind of be important depending on what specific graphics hardware you're going to be using to run this model. All right, I... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to leave this in the video. I forgot to put the scripts in the GitHub repository. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick so that I actually can move on to the next section right here and not look like a fool. But then we'll go ahead and, <laughs> and edit the portion we need to. So this next step, now that I have all of the Python files on the system and in this repository as well, is to choose the specific flavor or size variant of the Quen 3 VL family that we're going to use. Obviously this family, and it did just get bigger today with the introduction of two additional models, has a bunch of different size models which will fit specific hardware. So in this case and on this machine, I think I'm probably safe to use the full AP Instruct instead of the FP8 version, but I'm not a 100% sure, so I suppose I will find out. Um, it might be cutting it a little close, but we'll try it. So with that, the next thing we're going to do is actually need to modify one of these scripts to choose the specific model that we want to use. So in this case, we are going to be modifying the Quen VL Asian script. So there are a very few amount of them here, which is cool. So we can just open that one in Visual Studio Code. And basically we're gonna scroll down right here into line 26 where we have the specific model name. And this 30B A3B instruct is the one that we will use on the Strix Halo machine when we move to that to test it. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and try this with the regular AP instruct, keeping in mind that that may be kind of pushing it on this machine, but if we out of memory, we can then, you know, go a little smaller. All right, and then we'll save that. So just basically paste in whichever model name you want in here from this entire large list of the family of models. The 4B may be better, but I don't know if it will be able to handle the mobile agentic UI control. So for now, we'll try the 8B as I think that's a fairly reasonable kind of middle ground for this. So our next step once that is done is basically to go ahead and actually run the web UI from here which we can just type in to that. And it will not initially download the model until we actually go in and start the agent. So bear with me for a second, but our first step is to just open this link. It is running on our local URL. And now that this is open, you can kind of ignore this specific mention right here because we did change the model to the AP, but we're going to go into the settings right here. And this may not work 100% each time, but if you click auto detect device resolution, it should hypothetically be able to use ADB to actually specifically find out the screen resolution of your specific Android device. If that does not work, there is a config.json as well here, which you could just open and then kind of adjust these values to your specific phone screen uh, resolution. But assuming that does work, the next thing we can do is go back here and give it a task. And when we press start task right here, if the model is not already on your system, it will download it before actually running this. So let's try something simple because one, I don't know if this model will actually fit on my GPU. And two, I don't know if this model will actually be able to handle kind of autonomously controlling an Android phone. So we'll find out. So I was encountering issues because the dense version of Quen 3 VL has a different model class right here. And that was still for the MOE one that I had tried this with before when designing this whole little repo. So I had to do some changes here, which I will properly reflect and document in the repository. But that means that fortunately, this should now go ahead and properly work with the dense model. And I think the dense models for Quen 3 VL did just come out today, but all right, let's now try open Chrome. And then hopefully when we click start task, we start to see some GPU utilization. Okay, good. So that was the issue. So that's a relatively simple fix, fortunately. And now, obviously this is a 5090 mobile. So it only has, only, it has 24 gigs of VRAM and that should be enough here. 
So very good. And I just saw that happen. Actually, this is significantly, significantly faster than when my tests of the 30B on the Strix Halo were being performed when making this. So that's actually pretty good. And that is rather quick. Let's give it some additional tasks now. And obviously the Chrome page is open to my personal website where you can book a consultation to implement AI into your business. All right, let's have it close the browser and open Facebook, and we'll see what it does here. It should just show the screenshot again of the current window that it was left on, which is, of course, ooh, okay, so let's see. It's now misclicked, so I'm interested in seeing, and we do get some logs right here of what it's actually seeing here. So to close the browser and open Facebook, I need to, that's auto-scrolling. Uh, sorry. Oh, wow. It, okay, so it just decided to go to facebook.com actually, but you see that there it did actually open something that was like an erroneous click basically and it got itself out of that problem, which is really nice to see. The issue here is I wanted it to actually open the Facebook application instead of the Facebook website. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the phone go home instead of where it was and then I will instruct it to open the Facebook app. So let's try having it open the Facebook app and comment on a post. The phone will be starting out now from just the default home screen and hopefully, okay, good. And I can see it because it's right next to me, but this is really actually quite speedy. And I will say for an 8 billion parameter dense model, this is doing pretty good. All right, so now we need it to comment on a post. This is obviously extremely exciting. I am trying to kind of record the screen of the phone as well, but it's having a little bit of problems just with uh, kind of like... <laughs> uh, I forget the terminology, the saturation, okay? And again, this is obviously a burner Facebook account, but open the Facebook app and comment on a post. So we're needing it to comment on someone's post here. And, oh, okay, so we've got some horses. <laughs> I love agents. I love agents so much, but only if they're local and you have full control over their actions and cost. All right, so it's still scrolling through Facebook. I am somewhat interested Oh, okay, so it thinks it completed the task. No, 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 you failed. So let's give it another task. All right, so let's see if we can get it to comment on that Aldi USA post. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, all right, I think it... I'm just not going to look because the phone is... Uh... Oh, no! <laughs> posted it on the horse riding lesson solicitation <laughs> all right so quen just posted on facebook by itself that is uh <laughs> It posted on the wrong post okay this highlights the downsides and danger of agents is it responded in a way that would like show someone found something funny to a post that was not at all funny and okay so it did actually finish posting the reason we only see it as posting here is if we refresh display we'll see we'll see the code's kind of jank because it's supposed to refresh what it sees right here in the current screen but <laughs> all right so it did post i have to delete that now all right i deleted the erroneous comment left on the horse riding solicitation post <laughs> All right. This is actually quite quick. All right, let's try something a little harder. Open WhatsApp and start sending threatening messages to Demacnatron, which is the contact name in this phone that is safe to send anything to. So <laughs> let's just see what it does. Now, obviously, this is a a Quen 3 model, so we may get some form of refusal, but truthfully, I, I don't think we will, so we should go ahead. I need to, like, close this eye, because this eye through my peripheral can see the, uh, like, the phone actually happening, so I don't want to see what happens before we... Okay, good. So, this is the message between Demacnatron. Now it's supposed to start sending threatening messages. I will say, this 8 billion parameter dense model, I think, actually outperforms the 30B, A3B of Quen 3 vision. <laughs> Send it! Oh my god! <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Quen three, <laughs> Quen three VL just by itself controlled an Android phone, went into WhatsApp and sent a threatening message to one of our contacts, all entirely on its own. It it opted. Oh good god! 
<laughs> I'm warning you to stay away from me or else I will take matters into my own hands. Oh, my God. All right. Well, <laughs> this is really quite good at, at um, mobile phone agent stuff. I got to be honest with you. I was going to do a portion of this video actually testing the 30 billion parameter variant of this model on the Strix Halo. I don't know that it's actually worth it because this 8 billion parameter dense version of Quen 3 VL is actually performing in the same like league that I see with the 30B MOE model and it's significantly significantly faster. Obviously this is a 5090 laptop GPU but this model is something that really anyone with a 24 gig card can actually go and play with themselves right now and being that that is the case I do have to think I'm going to change this repository to just use the 8B dense version of this model because it is really quite good at actually doing things on an Android phone. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, I think this is going to conclude this little tutorial slash demo video. I will have this on GitHub in a uh, description link so you can go ahead and download this and play with it yourself and use Quen to send um, questionable messages to those on your phone contact list. With that, uh, that is going to conclude today's unexpectedly hilarious video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>